Hey, hello, okay, welcome. We are gonna build this today. This is the Lego Friends tree planting vehicle. Though it's not simply a vehicle, it, contrary to what the name says, it is also a really cute greenhouse and plants. I mean, well, there are, there are plants in the title. So yeah, okay, so this is 336 pieces. It is $45 RRP here in Australia. Once again, I would recommend that you check out Kmart and this is not a sponsored post, it's just Kmart is always cheap with Lego than other department stores. So yeah, get it cheaper than the RP. Just do it. You will thank yourself later. And your credit card will also thank you. So we've got two instruction books. There are uh, yeah, four bags. And take note of this. This is interesting. So this is the beginning of the first instruction book. Hello, who is the first mini doll we build? Well, it doesn't actually matter who it is. It matters what gender they are because this is the first time that a friend set has had a male mini doll to build first. It seems like a simple thing but you know it really is indicative of a much bigger underlying change going on hmm, so all right so first up we've got Daniel he has got uh yeah pants and a new color new overall top in fact the overall look but on tish pun intended is so cute he's got the new pants mold uh, with a thinner joint, which we saw in the girls in previous 2022 sets, but we hadn't seen in the boys because they'd had older coloured pants. Anyway, so new pants for the boys now too. So this is obviously going to be the new look for the pants. Uh, uh, and Olivia, hello, had to go all the way to bag four to find Olivia. So she doesn't even turn up till then. She's got a brand new bottom and top. Love the pink short overalls. Love the little spotty top. Uh, it's so cute. The, the overall shape is the same on the top and the bottom of the boys and the girls. But yeah, really, really cute look. I do not know why Olivia and Daniel are hanging out in the same set together. Daniel is Mia's brother, but uh, you know, I've got no idea what's going on with the storyline in Lego Friends 2022. It's just a mystery. Oh, maybe, look, I'm just making up stories now in my head. Maybe Daniel's actually a horticultural major at, oh yeah, at uni, and he's come back to set this uh, up a tree planting business in Heart Lake. Yeah, making stuff up. Let's just concentrate on the building, shall we? Because we went quite far while I was doing that. All right, so we've got a little green section here and uh, I don't even, I have no idea what's going on. Let's find out whether this first sticker gives us an indicator of what we're... Ooh, look, all right, so here are our instructions. We go from uh, sprout to more plant to bakery plant. So this is the big green, no, the middle size plant here. Ooh, I like seeing these three paned glass windows more and more. They were gone for so long and now we're seeing them a lot. So good, so good, because I love them. I think they look fantastic in builds. They just break it up. They give it some really nice uh, definition or articulation to, to your wall and your architecture. I just really like them. So this is now lined with those three paned glass, glass pieces. This is, which one's this? So this is the middle one. And then this is the very first one. Okay, so different stages of plant growth. Got a rubbish bin as well, and it's green, which is nice. So that matches in with all the rest of the green color scheme. Some pruning shears. I mean, they look like scissors, but obviously they're supposed to be pruning shears because this is a plant build. And on the top, ooh, we got little ice creams on the top. Oh, okay, they're not ice cream, obviously. A little rod facing forwards. And this is all, this is so you can hold your climbing plant. New butterfly piece too. It's looking so nice. I'm, I'm pleased to see it being used so much in this first release wave of Lego Friends 2022. This is so pretty. Okay, so this is a greenhouse. So this is how the angled roof is being created with these angled white window pieces on either side. Isn't that, it's just so simple. I'd been thinking about how to make a greenhouse for my too much plant build, but the roof was stumping me because I want a glass house. So this is a nice easy way to make a, an angled glass roof. It might not be big enough for my needs, but I'll take, keep it in mind. <laughs> I'm always planning stuff. I love this sticker. Actually, I'm really, really liking all of the graphic design for this year's Lego Friends this year so, so much. They're, it's just, so oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just really, really good. It's not cutesy. It's not too pretty. It just works really, really perfectly for the aesthetic that I like to see. So yeah, it's really nice. Well done, graphic designers. Loving it. Okay, on the side is a little tree. Oh, with a bee pollinating the flower. So this is tying in as well with the treehouse, with the big honking treehouse set too. 
Oh, I like this so much. I want a much bigger version of a greenhouse, but this is tiny and contained and portable and displayable, and I just love it. It's so nice. It's so nice. We're up to bag number two. Okay, what do we got to add on to here? Because we're not up to the vehicle yet, the tree planting vehicle. We've got a purple wheelbarrow, purple wheelbarrow. Be still, my beating heart. Daniel can hold this nicely. He's also joined by a squirrel or a chipmunk, is it? I No, it's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. <laughs> so yeah okay all right so this we got more green we are building more green we've got the greenhouse and now we i don't know what this is we've got some ornamental fencing here a lady beetle on a leaf and two big yellow pots. Have we seen this part before? It's certainly not a part I've ever seen before in anything that I've built. And they're bright yellow, which makes me super happy. And these stickers go around the curve. They're not too long, so they're not too hard. And they have got the plant label on it and some, some growing vines up it. So according to the plant label, what's growing in that is actually squiggle. So squiggle in one side, squiggle in the other. So, you know, very highly sought after plants, the squiggles. Mushrooms, so cute in between. Now, now we get some fully established plants for planting with the tree planting vehicle. <laughs> I'm assuming the side of the road plants, because that's what happens here in Australia. We have little side of the road plants. Gosh, you know, on the, uh, on the footpath. We're next to the footpath. I don't know how well I'm going. Anyway, this is a beautifully established one with light pink flowers. It's got a white rod through it to hold it nice and sturdy. And this one is going together the same way. And it's, yeah, once again, that, that rod is in there to hold it together. Otherwise, you would pick it up and it will all fall apart. Whereas this is supposed to hold together. This one's got some darker pink flowers on it. Nice! Oh my gosh, they look so good in the big yellow pots. So they're ready for planting out. And we've got plants in other different stages of development as well in the greenhouse. I love this so much. <laughs> and goodness me, more green. So that one clips onto one side of the greenhouse. This is going to clip onto the other side. Got a uh, poop on the corner there. It's not a poop. I reckon that's a seed uh, for the squirrel, probably. Squirrel, squirrel seed. The water can, watering cans are showing up again. Very nice and uh, keep, oh, always tip it. Just like with the buckets, I always tip the water out so quickly. I put it in, tip it out, gone. So we've got a watering can, it's got a handle and another, oop, no, it's not another plant, but it does have that stem through the middle of it for nice strength. This is a very, brief, very bright pink water pump because you see a lot of those these days. Okay, so I love the water going into, it's angled so perfectly to go into the watering can. So you pump the water out, so no electricity necessary, just a bit of, bit of elbow grease. And this plugs in on that side. Yep, there goes the watering can again. Wasting that water each time I knock it over. And this is our little greenhouse setup with the purple <laughs> wheelbarrow. I like this so much. I have no interest in the in the vehicle whatsoever. I just love the greenhouse. Well, let's build the vehicle anyway. Fine. Because it's in here and there's no way I was going to let these pieces go to waste. Let's see how this is. You know how I feel about a vehicle. I have limited interest. <laughs> I'm so excited about the greenhouse setup. It's really, really cute and compact. But let's put the tree planting vehicle together because that is the name of the set. So apparently that's the draw card of all of this. Not for me. <laughs> okay, all right, so we're doing, you know, while I'm babbling, we are getting a lot of the structure down. We've got some little white handle bits on the side, which I think are gonna be the foot step up things. What do you call those? It's, I know so much about cars and vehicles and tracky things. I'm so, so good at this. So yeah, the bits that help you get up into the cabin because it is quite high and uh, generally I am quite short. So this is the front. Ooh, it's electric too. Nice. Okay, so this is the front with a little bit of a, a little bit of a bull bar on the front. Nice and substantial. And if that's the front, is this going to be the back? I think it is. It's got some, <laughs> got some pink brake lights, as you do. Oh, tree heart 22. Look, I actually understand the number plate for a change. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I really like that number plate. I like it. Oh my goodness. Okay. So predominantly at the moment we're using blue and green. We're up to bag number four. 
and of course grey. I mean, there's lots of grey to fill out the rest of the spaces here. But then back to number four is the one where Olivia's supposed to come in. Of course, I got her out earlier. She doesn't even have any accessories. No accessories for her. She's too busy looking after the vehicle. So if she comes in bag number four, it's obvious that she is, well, I am assuming that she is the one who is in charge of this. I'm going to just keep calling it a vehicle because, I mean, what is it? Uh, yeah, anyway, so we've got a dashboardy kind of thing there with all of your uh, dashboardy needs. Got a wheel, a steering wheel, but you know what? I'm going to swap this over so that it's a right-hand drive so it's appropriate for here in Australia because... Why not? It's super easy to do and I want to look at this and feel as though it looks normal to <laughs> the way that we drive here, which is on the right hand side of the road. Here is our logo again, the little earth with the sprout coming out of it, which I just adore so much. Uh, white uprights. So what do we need here? If this is the vehicle that's going to take the trees from the nursery out to the roadside to plant them we've got a lever which I assume is for controlling I mean it's gonna be con for controlling something and there's a little gauge a little dialy gauge kind of thing inside there too so let's find out this is actually I'm actually interested in spite of myself I'm always interested <laughs> I might not like building vehicles but they're it's always interesting building Lego no matter what it is so this is the back Oh yeah, okay, so the tailgate for the for the tray of the truck, so it's kind of like a ute. Do you call them utes in other countries? So when you have a little cabin and then you have the tray out the back, uh, yeah, like, like this. I, I'm interested actually, I have no idea. What do you call them in other countries, those sort of work vehicles, which have a nice big carrying capacity on the back? Now, speaking of carrying capacity, this is for carrying, oh, it's a little crane section. That's what our, what our levery thing is for. So on the side, we have got a spade and we've got, there's an, oh yeah, and the rake on the other side. And then, interestingly enough, we're putting these little side mirror things on <laughs> very last. Well, not very last, because we've still got to put the wheels on. So let's do that. Nice big substantial wheels, because obviously this is going to be doing some heavy duty work. We'll get them on. And you know what? How I, you know how I said I don't really like vehicles? I really like this. I really like it. So we open this bit up, and then... Oh, we could bring it up. We could get it up a bit higher if we have it in the wheelbarrow, but you're supposed to use the crane. Oops, more effectively than that. Get that around. The crane to get it up on. I mean, would you really put it around the foliage of the tree? Possibly not. But anyway, it works really, really nicely for our purposes here. Okay, I, I very much like the tree planting vehicle. That's really cool. Oh, you could have this chugging down the street of any Lego City setup. The colours are, you know, work with everything and yet they're still fun. It's still super fun. It still screams Lego Friends to me, even though it will work with other themes too. Okay, I really, really like this set. And not just the glass house, or the green glass house, the greenhouse, the greenhouse made out of glass, but the tree planting vehicle itself too. Oh my goodness, I've been won over by a truck. <laughs> the world is topsy-turvy okay let me know in the comments what you think of this set uh subscribe check back in more builds coming up soon Ooh, okay all right i'll see you soon bye